welcome back to Life Afloat. Um, in this video I am going to be tackling this stove here. Um, it wasn't sealed properly, we had some heavy rain and now it's covered in surface rust. So I'm going to get rid of that um, and show you the process that I'm going through uh, to bring it up, hopefully looking like new again. So as you can see there's quite a bit of surface rust on the stove. Top, front um, and this glass needs a good clean up as well. So we'll do that. Uh, the process will be to rub this down with a very fine uh, wet and dry paper just to smooth it off um, and then I have uh, some rather fancy stuff which has got fantastic reviews uh, that you apply with a sponge and uh, brings the stove up looking new again so I'll show you what that is now. This is the stuff that we're going to be using um, and I apologise I've got some dirt on the front there from my grubby hands but it is called Dirt Busters Stove Polish. Now what it says on the back is give the stove a thorough clean obviously with one of their other products which I'm not going to use. I'm just going to uh, give it a quick rub down and then brush off any dust and dirt. Um, it says apply uh, using a cloth or sponge. Apply a second layer of polish to cover rust and discoloration. Once heated under normal use a long lasting protective coating will form. So. There it is, Dirt Busters. Let's give it a go uh, and see what happens. I'm just going to use uh, 2,500 grit wet and dry paper. That's what the surface is like once we've gone over it with a bit of wet and dry. Um, I haven't used water on it, obviously. I've just used it dry, um, but it is nice and smooth now. So just got to do that all over the rest of the stove then get the dust uh, and dirt off and it'll be ready for the polish. So I'll put some of this on the uh, sponge. You can see what it's like. It's quite thick by the looks of it. Don't know how much it's going to need. Let's put that much on to begin with. Uh, just wipe it on. You can see what difference that makes. It's looking good. A couple of spots where I'll have to go over it again. Sorry about the camera work, I'm trying to hold the camera one handed and so that you can see and then do this with the other hand. It's a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare. There you go. Right. That's looking good. I'm going to pop the camera down, do the rest, and then I'll bring you back. So, there we have it. What do you think? I think it's done a pretty good job myself. Um, certainly a ton better than it was before. So I got the stuff from Amazon. I think it was about £10, or give or take a couple of quid. Um, so not bad value for money. It does a really good job. Very happy with that. So uh, if your stove needs a bit of a freshen up, maybe you should give that a try. Um, to seal the, the coating that is put on it, you need to light the stove and, and heat it up. Now it's like 28 degrees or something stupid outside, so I'm not going to do that today. Um, I'll wait for another day to do that. Um, but then that sort of seals the, the layer that it's put on there and uh, stops it from coming off. So um, that will need to be done at some point. So guys, thank you uh, once again for watching the video. Please feel free to like, comment, rate, subscribe, all of that stuff. Um, take care and I'll see you next time. Cheers.